Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. For this layout, I took a gorgeous Vicky Booten patterned paper, it is the print shop collection, and I cut out, um, she kind of had like this patchwork circle design happening and I used a craft knife to cut the whole thing out. And I'm keeping that for a layout that's coming up. So keep a lookout. And this is the other side. So this is the B side of, and it's this gorgeous coral geometric style pattern. And I absolutely loved it. And I really, really wanted to keep this paper. But I also loved the patchwork side on the other side. And I just had no idea how to use them both. So this was my sort of compromise. So you can see the design that the patchwork would be. It's that kind of circular pattern that is the white part of this layout, the 12 by 12 plain pattern piece. That is what I cut out. And all the rest of the circles and the diamonds um, filled the gaps. And so, yeah, I it took a little minute, I'm not going to lie, but I'm so thrilled with how it actually all pulled together that it was definitely worth the time. So once I stuck all of these pieces down, I was umming and ahhing about um, hand stitching or machine stitching. I really wanted to mas machine stitch like everything, every little circle, every half circle, every diamond. But I realized really quickly that that was going to take a million, gazillion, bajillion years. So I did pull out my sewing machine. Um, I've got some black thread because the title is going to be in black. And I just do a few of the circles. And as you can see, I just go round and round and round. So in each circle, I probably do about three times around on my sewing machine. The reason for doing more than one is A, because I like it, but B, it also hides the fact that sewing circles on a sewing machine is really, really hard. Uh, and if you've got multiple layers, then it doesn't need to be perfect because you kind of want that messy circle look so that you can see all three of your stitched layers, like stitch, stitch goes around. If you were perfect at stitching your circles, uh, and you did it three times, there didn't just be three circles right on top of each other and you would just have really thick thread. So um, I think that this works in my favour. Then I popped my photos up on foam. I put on my title, The Sweet Life, and then I have... I have fussy cut some florals again of the 12 by 12 patterned paper. You will see that I will feature these throughout the month. I adore fussy cutting these off the pattern paper. I almost prefer this than the florals that come in the print shop ephemera. And my reason being is the clusters are already made. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to do anything. I just cut them out and stick them on. It is so simple. Whereas if I'm using the floral pieces that come in the ephemera pack, I really like um and ah about the size of each floral and do the colors match and have I laid that out correctly. Um, and it just takes a lot more sort of skill and precision from me, whereas these clusters are already made and I can just pop them straight on. So I love that. You can see that I even use some of the little teeny flowers and some of the half flowers off the side of the page, just again to add a little bit of um, that feeling of flow, that it kind of flows from the top right hand side all the way diagonally across to the left, which is fun. Um, this layout was super quick and easy once the background was made because the background is kind of so busy that it didn't need too much more happening on the front of the page. You can see from the super cute photos that Thomas is in a super cheeky mood. We are having a wonderful time out on Grandma and Grandpa's boat. Of course, we only went down to visit them for a couple of days and we were really quite busy. So we kind of planned that we were going on the boat on Friday. Friday was the worst weather of the entire week, the weekend that we were down there. Um, as it always is, it was cold and it was wet. Every other single day of the weekend that we were there, it was beautiful weather. Why does that 
always happen. But anyway, we still had a wonderful time out on the boat uh, and it was super fun. So thank you so much for watching this layout. I hope you enjoyed my process video and I cannot wait to see you all again in my next one this month. I will see you next week. Thanks everyone. Bye.